as you know, uh, now there are more than five billion devices connected to the web. So we need to think, we need to start thinking about the web as a platform for apps, the biggest platform that ever existed. Uh, it's not a rocket science that uh, M commerce is growing rapidly. So we believe that progressive web apps are the future. Progressive web apps, which combines the best of mobile reach, which is three times higher than apps, and uh, mobile app engagement, which uh, consumes uh, 20 times more time than, than, than apps for customers. So, uh, BWA, BWA uh, solves uh, some fundamental cases with mobile conversion. Uh, so, so what would be best for progressive apps than progressive framework? Uh, I'm Arthur, uh, this is Philip, and we are from Devante uh, e-commerce software house from Poland with about 100 people on board. And uh, yeah, uh, on a daily basis we deal with research, we deal with feedback from customers and from our developers within the, in open source we trust attitude. Uh, which makes us believe that there's still a lot to do uh, to deliver better selling online. Uh, apart from being uh, Magento B2B contributors or other stuff, uh, we're still thinking about new projects like, uh, you can check it on our GitHub later, I won't bore you. But why? Because modern e-commerce isn't modern enough. Uh, the industry is growing, but there's still a lot of main things that need to be changed. Uh, E-commerce is not suited for mobile, it's overwhelmed, it's bulky, uh, and, uh, it distracts customer with content, and a lot of e-commerce doesn't even have the RWD, right? Uh, it's not stable during high traffic, like Black Friday or Boxing Day, or how do you call it here in England. Uh, and it's not effective with poor internet connection. So, uh, I was here three years ago, now I'm here again, and maybe some of you will tell me, how do you deal with no connection in the underground, yeah? How do you do it, <laughs> man? Uh, even in Poland, we have internet in tube. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, it's... Uh, what what? <laughs> uh, last but not least, uh, even basic front development, as you probably know, takes a lot of time, takes a lot of effort, and only the biggest can afford uh, delivering best suited e-commerce performance. And at the end of the day, we don't want to slow the industry. So if you could imagine the e-commerce, which uh, can be uh, deployed on every platform, like Magento 1, 2, Shopware, Shopify, whatever, and can avoid integrations, painful integrations, so we can focus on delivering stuff that customers really need. Uh, the e-commerce that uh, renders the catalog of products within milliseconds and queues orders even if the server is not available. The e-commerce that is almost impossible to be crushed because it doesn't use server resources and can work 100% apply. So that's the long story short, and let's move to technical details. Hi, I'm Philip. Uh, as Arthur mentioned before, uh, the modern e-commerce isn't perfect. It's far from perfect, and it's not suited for mobile uh, users for mobile network. Uh, and we in Devante thought about it a lot uh, and we invent, invented something that we hope will change because we know the problems, we know how the solution should work. So we have input, we have output, so all we need is some good software to deal with it, yes? And we started creating, it, creating something called uh, Vistorefront. Uh, Pretty nice name. Uh, and what is Vistorefront? Vistorefront, uh, in short words, is a front end and that can be connected to any e commerce. Uh, it's uh, ultra fast, it's mm -hmm. online ready, uh, it's EWA because this is the feature. Uh, the technology stack here, as you, as you can see, is View, Note, and Elasticsearch. And the uh, main reason why this is better than uh, normal. Magento or Shopify, or I don't know. If, does anyone of you uh, work with uh, e-commerce CMS? Oh. Okay. So if if 
anyone, you know, uh, it's a pain in the ass. So, uh, we thought, why we can't uh, write uh, a front-end, standalone front-end, uh, that can be connected to all of these uh, back backends, like Magento, Shopify, or something like this, and we invented, invented we started creating uh, user store front. Uh, we believe that such solutions should be accessible to anyone, so it's open source. Uh, uh, and I'd like to share with you in very, very, very short time how it works, and if you'll be interested, uh, please come to me, let's talk about it. Uh, okay, so we have our, our front end, yeah, we store front, it's built on Vue.js, uh, we have API. Uh, that serves the data, and uh, the data is in NoSQL database uh, and we have managed to NoSQL and that tool uh, takes data from our e-commerce CMS converts it uh, to NoSQL database principles and uh, sends it to NoSQL database so our frontend, our standalone frontend can work with uh, its own NoSQL database it doesn't need Magento if the backend crashes, the frontend app will still work but it can send uh, the data to the backend. Uh, it will be in a queue. Uh, and the technology stack. Uh, we're using, of course, Vue.js, and this is why we are here, because we focused very much on the developer experience, uh, because all the CMS doesn't care about it. Uh, we're using Node.js uh, for API and backend. Uh, and we're using Elasticsearch uh, as a NoSQL database. We're also using local storage uh, to store our offline data uh, in a browser. Uh, and we're using server workers and web manifest, uh, which are the parts of PWA, yeah, to work offline. Uh, yeah, and how our stuff works? So, uh, oh, this is a this is a folder structure. Any of these files can be extended in a themes because uh, you can uh, create core components, core stores, uh, extensions, and all of that stuff, and you can extend it uh, in a themes. So uh, it's more like framework than a software. Mm. So, you remember that slide when Arthur was talking about what's wrong with e-commerce? Uh, so now we have a solutions based on uh, what we've seen before. Uh, and not suited for mobile. The first thing, we need a good responsive web design for users. We need to take care of a Li-Fi or bad internet connection, uh, mobile first approach and PWA will help with us. And we need to deal with speed. Vue.js is a good tool for this because we don't need to re-render uh, the whole stuff every time. And not stable during peaks. Here the data caching and NoSQL database shines because uh, we, if we don't uh, connect with a backend all the time, there's barely no chance to crash it. Yeah, If we have our own database, uh, our backend uh, will be probably more stable. Not effective with poor internet connection, it's the same if we have all the templates cached and all the data cached. Uh, we can work with this internet connection, we can go back to the sites we've seen before, uh, there's no problem with it. Uh, and long time to market, that's the thing that you should be interested most, uh, because the development is much, much, much faster than normal e-commerce. As I mentioned before, uh, we started it as open source project. It's now on GitHub. We started it about two months ago. Uh, it's rapidly growing. We have first contributors, but well, we want to change the world. We want to change the way people are buying things, and we need your help. Uh, we have some easy pick issues. If you'd like to, I don't know, just check if it's okay if you like it. Uh, we have pretty good documentation and it's growing every day. So if you think if you also think that now today's e-commerce is not very good for uh, mobile users and won't 
And if you want to do something with it, uh, here's the way. Mm. You can write down this email, you can write down our numbers, our website, you can catch us on LinkedIn uh, via email after this presentation and feel free to talk and thank you very much.